Out to the fun stuff right here in Tulsa. The Tulsa Golf Association holding its Stroke Play Championship, featuring over 30 of the area's best golfers today. To La Fortune Golf Course we go. A windy, windy day, but Tulsa's finest handled it like pros. And here's a former pro, Michael Boyd, with the performance of the day, a bogeyless Sunday. And here's one of many birdies by Boyd as he would shoot a 66 on the day. We fast forward all the way to 18, though, where a log jam at the top would have some crucial putts. Boyd could go up two strokes here, but he settles for the two putt that has him one stroke ahead of two others. Boyd now watching to see if they can catch up. One in his group, Brandon Strothy, with the 67 on Sunday. He knocks this one in to move to second place, shooting 138 through two rounds. And in the final group, Mike Hewitt, trying to at least tie Boyd at the top. And this approach shot right here on 18 is why he's seemingly always in the running. A big name in golf for the area. And watch the approach, past the pin, a little backspin, putting him in position for a birdie. Now a tough putt, and if it goes in though, we have some sorting out to do, but Hewitt, Ah, just short. And just like that, Mike Boyd hangs on at the top with 137 through two rounds to become your 2020 Tulsa Stroke Play Champion. Well, I mean, this is a great field, you know. So this is my first amateur tournament in a long time. I was a pro for uh, several years and, and just got my amateur status back in April. So this is my first amateur event to win. It's pretty cool. Great field. You got a lot of great players in this event. And, um, you know, to come back and play a good round today was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. And look who we have here in Mike Boyd's group in the Tiger Woods Sunday Red and all our very own TJ Eckert with a great performance on Saturday, shooting a 71, putting him in a tie for fourth place going into the championship round on Sunday. Now, admittedly, I missed his best shot of the day, but look at this tap in. He made sure that we put that on the news. He gets a birdie right there. And then later, though, well, I got you, buddy. TJ putting together a respectable 76 on Sunday, which was good for 14th out of a field of over 30 golfers. Now, most of us, we would take it all day. But TJ, the former UCO golfer in his college days, not quite satisfied with this Sunday showing, but pleased with the event as a whole. We say it all the time in the golf world, a bad day on the golf course beats a good day at work, it seems like. You know, I mean, it's always fun coming out on the golf course. And even when you're not playing well, even when your scores aren't great, it's still a good time. And it was a lot of fun playing with Michael. I mean, watching a guy shoot bogey-free 66 in this win. I mean, Brandon shot 67. So, I mean, I got lapped out there. But it was a lot of fun. And uh, I think uh, once Morgan actually brought the camera out, I started to struggle. So if we're looking for someone to blame other than myself, we can put it on Morgan. <laughs> Uh, oh, TJ, Morgan. you can't call me out <laughs> like that. What are you that. doing? You can't call me out like that. Actually, I take some of the blame, but you know what? If you're wearing that Tiger Woods Sunday red, TJ, you got to come harder than that, man. <laughs> Hey guys, how y'all doing this evening? We are live here at the Fortune Golf Course for the Tulsa Stroke Play Championship. We have over 30 of the area's best golfers right here at the Fortune Golf Course. And I have a pretty good golfer right here and also the tournament director of the Tulsa Golf Association, Mr. George Glenn. George, how you doing today? I'm good. Very windy. Oh yeah, very windy. Uh, obviously, I'm going to talk about that first, this wind. We'll talk about the talent and everything coming up in this tournament. But this wind, what are these players going through right now? Well, it's like any sport you're out during the wind. It's going to affect the ball big time. Yeah. And it's just, uh, it's just, you got to add two, three, three or four shots to the score, basically, is what it boils down to. Oh, yeah. And uh, a lot of talent that can make do with this, these weather conditions. What kind of talent do we have out here for people that may not be familiar? we got uh, Mike Hewitt. He's 62 years old. He's one of the top senior amateurs in the country. Yeah. And, of course, you got TJ, <laughs> excellent player. Uh, you got a former tour player in, uh, in, in Mike. Uh, Boy, yeah. Mike, Mike, yeah, Mike Boyd, and you got uh, Michael Gocher, former PGA professional. He won it last year and just turned into 67 today. And then it's win, which is a great score. Yeah. And then another fellow won last year, Luke Phillips, shot 66 today. Yeah. So it's there, and uh, they, they can play. So needless to say, a lot of talent out here. We want to appreciate you for yes, having sir, us. Uh, we're going to have the results and winners coming up tonight. But, guys, as you can see, we're just enjoying it here at the Fortune Golf Course. Back to you guys. I know. We're